Lynn Bulldogs basketball reports from the Twin Valley League on KCOY are brought to you in part by Oldie Seed Farms, Bank of Palmer, Central Office Service and Supply, Ray's Apple Market, Coolman Implement and Hardware, by Moe's Stop and Shop, Perfection Auto Body, Titan West, and Blue Valley Telecommunications. KCLY's coverage of the Twin Valley League Basketball Tournament featuring the Frankfurt Wildcats is brought to you in part by Alexander Pump and Service of St. Mary's, Central Valley Ag, Patterson Health Mart Pharmacy and Radio Shack, Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement, Kramer Oil, Walls True Value and Lumber, and Steve Z's Abilene Car Sales. And a good afternoon. Welcome back again to Onega. Twin Valley League coverage continues on KCLY Rocky Downing, joined now by... Flip Casper, our studio engineer tonight, is Cody Seabold. We have Bernie Fancella back in the studios as well. And uh, Flip, this is now day four, just so you can keep track at home on the uh, on the days of the uh, of the week. But this is a big night. It's the semifinal night for the boys. We do have one consolation game before we get to the consolation and championship semifinals. But there's some great matchups this evening. Yeah, there is some great matchups. And this one should be pretty decent as well. Now, these two teams, Lynn and Wetmore, have faced each other before. I think these consolation games are just as important as uh, what we're going to see a little bit later on for the teams that are involved in them, especially Lynn lost back on January 9th to Wetmore. They're going to try to regroup and uh, get something done here. Wetmore has played twice, haven't been able to go get it going yet. Lynn opened up with Onega, who, by the way, knocked off number two seat Centralia, and Onega is in the semifinals. And I don't think Lynn played that bad. They lose by 13 to a team that's playing in the, in the championship semis and then knocked off uh, the number two seed in this tournament. So, yeah, they played well. Yeah, they did play well. I thought they looked, looked pretty good. It just kind of got away from them. Onega's got a little too much size uh, underneath, but they played pretty well. Wetmore, I thought, played pretty well at times. But, in fact, we talked about this team on the way home. I said I think they're about two players away from, from being really good. They don't have a lot of size, but they've got a lot of speed, and they can shoot outside. And that's what they want to do. Well, you mentioned uh, for the Lynn Bulldogs, they're lost to Onega trying to deal with the size inside. That's something they won't be dealing with tonight against the Wetmore. They're a small team, but they are talented, led by the point guard outside, Jeremy Hosler, who is uh, averaging almost 13 points per ball game. For the Lynn Bulldogs, they, their starting lineup will look like this. Chad Gross leads the way, 14 points a game, 6.6 rebounds, and he averages 2.1 blocks per game as well. Think about that throughout the season. Man can get up in the air. We know that. Chase McGatlin, 10 points a contest, a 5'9 sophomore, Gross, a 6'4 senior. Colton Smith, the 5'10 junior, averages about two and a half points, almost three boards a game. Grant Cook, 6'3 and a senior down inside. He is averaging over four points, almost five rebounds a game. And the 5'10 freshman, Evan Bott, in the starting lineup for the Bulldogs. Four wet board looks like this. Dalton Beckman, 5'6 and a junior. Lane Hodge, and we'll give you the rest of that lineup after we take this break for our national league. Quality products, excellent service, you'll get it all at Coolman Implement and Hardware in Lynn. They feature brands that live up to their names like Massey Ferguson, Gale, and Agco Farm Equipment, Husqvarna Chainsaws, Dixon Lawnmowers, and a whole lot more. Coolman Implement also offers the latest diagnostic equipment to repair or service your new model vehicles. With products like these and customer service that's second to none, why go anywhere else? Stop by and see what Coleman Implement and Hardware and Lynn can do for you. For an experienced mechanic who specializes in repairing and rebuilding tractors, trucks, and other types of farm equipment, the man you're looking for is Richard at Fact Machine Shop. He has a well-equipped workshop for all kinds of jobs, big or small, that allow him to fabricate and repair all kinds of farm machinery. If you have an older piece of equipment that's hard to find parts for, Richard can custom make the parts and get it back up and running. So remember Richard at Fact Machine Shop when you need a good mechanic. Brian, did you order those tires? What are you doing now? I'm stacking these tires here in the office so customers can take the PAB free throw challenge. I suppose PAB stands for... Perfection Auto Body, of course. And what do they win if they make the shot? One of these cool calendars we made, remember? How do you get the ball back out? Uh, hadn't thought of that. Folks, make sure you think about safety on the roads with a new set of tires from Perfection Auto Body on the west side of Play Center. Out on the ranch, there never seems to be enough hours in the day. Titan West Incorporated can't make the day longer, but they can help you work faster with the equipment you need to work your cattle quickly and safely. The OK Corral is the most versatile, portable corral system on the market. 
lined with galvanil steel, it can haul your livestock, supplies, and even an ATV. Improve efficiency on your ranch with cattle handling equipment from Titan West Incorporated. And the National Anthem played, and the opening tip-off is going to be controlled by the Wetmore Cardinals as Jeremy Hosel will bring it up to 5'8". Senior has it on the left quarter court. Lynn Bulldogs in a 1-3-1 defense to start. They have out in the middle of that at the point, Chad Gross, who is uh, going to cause problems for those wing passes. And then they have the uh, three across the middle and one playing the baseline down low. And uh, that is Evan Bott on the baseline. Whitmore with it on the right wing. Dalton Beckman back to the wing right. They go to Lane Hodge. Now left wing jumper on its way up and down for the Wetmore Cardinals. And that is put in by Andy Henry, averaging just over six points a game, a 5'11 senior, and knocked that in just inside the three-point line. Bulldogs down court. They had a chance at the break. Big collision on the loose ball, and it goes the other direction. And here's Hoshler to the lane. His fingertip roll is up and good. So you, Lynn has the pressure broken and a wide-open player down court. And a baseball pass probably gets them. They try to do it a chest pass, and it just allows the defender to get over. There was a huge collision uh, between the Bulldogs' Colton Smith, and he took the worst of that collision. Now they get it to Gross down inside. He'll take it up left block, up off the glass, and good. Gross has the Bulldogs on the board. It's 4-2, to two, Wetmore with a two-point lead. It's going to be real difficult for Wetmore to stop. They've had uh, trouble with the big man. They don't match up well with that. Especially an athletic yeah, man no like Gross is. Here's Holscher, no look pass inside the lane. He's a wide open point blank shot given up from Austin Horse, but he misses it. Now the steal goes back to Adam Henry, or Andy Henry, I should say, and he has four early points. It is six to two. The Bulldogs down by four. Right for it with a dribble is Colton Smith near the timeline in some trouble, and the timeout's going to be taken by Coach Jeremy Miller. Timeout on the floor, six to two. Lynn Trail, they'll have the basketball when we come back. The Bank of Palmer encourages you to buy local and support the merchants who support your community. You'll find unique items, unbeatable service, and friendly people right here in your hometown. Not only will you boost the economy and preserve your neighborhoods, you'll sustain the businesses that help Palmer, Lynn, and Barnes maintain their small town character. These small communities have a lot to offer, and the Bank of Palmer thanks you for your support. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 6-2 ball game. Bulldogs trail that has the basketball and uh, in trouble around the half court stripe is Colton Smith and Jeremy Miller getting a timeout call to keep that possession and they'll end down right in front of the scorer's table. He was just about to lose that possession too. A good timeout. Defenders were getting right on top of him and he was a little off balance. They bring it in to Evan Bott right back to Smith who brings it around the right wing. On the wing right is Chase McGatlin. He'll hold there. Now out deep to bot. Left to swing it around now. Looking inside for Gross. And also posting it low is Grant Cook. The free throw line. Kick out comes for McGatlin. Out to bot. Now to the post for Cook. Back across to the right side. They swing at baseline. McGatlin. Ball fakes on the three. And then steps back. Wing right three is wow. up and down. Chase McGatlin drills it from the wing right. to six to five. The Bulldogs down by one. A nice looking shot by McGatlin. Ball fakes. One three-pointer, stepped back up towards the top of the key to release the three and knocked it down. Gatlin, who averages 10 a game, the 5'9 sophomore, has his first points here, and it's a one-point contest. 6'5", Wetmore now looking at a 2-3 zone. They kind of busted the 1-3-1, one, one, and out of that last time out, obviously, Coach Miller wanted to go to a 2-3 zone, and there's a near steal by Grant Cook down low. It is knocked to the baseline and out of bounds. It will stay with Wetmore on their own baseline. Austin Morris, 5'10", senior, trying to post down low. We'll take it out of bounds now and bring it in to the wing right, Holshort. He's the leading scorer, almost 14 a game. He'll take it to the paint. Good drop off inside for Andy Henry. He takes it up to a block of Chad Gross. I thought he had it blocked, and Henry still gets it down. He has six early. Better be awake with uh, Jeremy Holshort if he's on your team and has the ball. He'll catch one upside the cheek if you're not. Three on two numbers against the pressure. Gross, right wing. Backs it out with a dribble, and that gives it out top to McGatlin, who hit the three last time down. Bulldogs down by three, eight to five. Grant Cook has it out. Top of the pass goes to Colton Smith. He'll fall fake, starts to drive. Now wing left to Gross. He puts the dribble back down across right. It goes to Bott. Evan looks down low, trying to get a cutting. Grant Cook, it was cut off, though, by Morris and taken away by Whitmore. Holstler goes right on the wing. Beckman, three-pointer wow. is blocked by Chad Gross. We mentioned he averages two points one blocks a game, and he blocks a three-pointer there. Wetmore does get it back, and now Grant Cook gets the missed three-pointer from Hosler, brought down to the defensive board. Bulldogs back with it, 4.28 to work for in the opening period. 
they are playing this game in the main gym here. So if you're picturing where they're at, they uh, decided to go ahead and since the gym was open, played in the main gym. Grant Cook, a jumper at the left elbow, won't go down. Rebound comes off to Wetmore. Postler in the front court, right on the wing. Three-point attempt, Lane Hodge, strong. Rebound, Morris brings it down, back outside, and he's walking with the basketball as Holstler called for a after the head and shoulder fake, taking an early step. Dylan Cooper checking in off the bench. 6'1 freshman is averaging almost three and a half assists per game along with his couple of points, so he can deal it out. Bulldogs with the basketball, bring it into the backcourt for Chad Gross. Between the legs, Andy Henry gets a bump and gets away with it, and Gross, his second block of the game already, and it's taken away by the Bulldogs as the deflection off the block shot by Gross goes to Evan Bach. Off the floor to Colton Smith. Under four work here in the opening period. Smith, crossover move, and the double dribbles with the basketball. Last second, reached up with that left hand. He put it right back down. He almost pulled me. He didn't pull the official. Well, and I think what Wynn needs to do right now, number one, they need to start passing the ball. They're they're just nothing on that ball, and Wetmore is really uh, playing with a lot of anticipation. Put some put some heat on it. A little zip on the pass. Yeah, I think would be a help. Trey Craig in for Wetmore now. Hostler in the corner right, guarded by Gross. Probably not thinking about a three. In fact, he drops it down inside. And how about the start for Andy Henry of Wetmore? He has eight points, and he's fouled here. First whistle of this. Opening four, he's got a chance in three-point play. Well, Andy Henry is, is a player that I think is pretty dangerous for Wetmore. I watched him Saturday a little bit. You know what Holster is going to bring. But when Holster and Andy Henry can get it working, if they look to me like they've played together for a while, I would agree. It was a great drop down pass. Second of the game that uh, Holster has been able to set up Henry inside. Free throw to convert an old-fashioned three in the 5 senior, and they are both seniors, now has nine. Nine of the ten points for Wetmore coming from Henry. Bulldogs now trail by six, 11 to five. Here's Gross in the open court. He takes it toward the lane, takes it up, and slams it home. Woo. Chad Gross, one-handed splash off the breakaway on the right side. It's 11 to seven. And how do you like that? Man can get up in the air. We said yeah, it earlier on the defensive end. Now a tip away. He's breaking away the lane again. He is fouled. He'll get it up to the rim. They weren't going to allow him to get up to the den this time. But he does draw the foul, and uh, Chad Gross for a one-man pressure putting uh, points on the other end. That's not your, uh, not your typical high school dunk that you might see <laughs> if you uh, just kind of get it up there and get it in. That was with some authority. Uh, with the defender trying to chase him down, and uh, he was not to be denied. And the second one, he was going at it again. You could see him gearing it up. Was. And it was a uh, foul called and a hard foul to keep. Not a, uh, a legal foul, but right. just a, a foul to make sure he didn't get up to the rim. He makes one of two free throws here. He's has five points, two blocked shots already. That was impressive. Bulldogs are back within three now, 11 to eight. Holsler goes left on the wing, deep to Dalton Beckman, now in the corner back to Holsler. Looks down low and then kicks it out top around right to Trey Craig. He'll back it out with a dribble now off to Holsler right side. They've got Gross on Holsler right now, chasing him in a man to man. Now to Holsler who can hit the three, but again with Gross in the area, he's not wanting to get rid of it. And now it's hard. Is that a foul call? It was. I thought it was a hard walk. It was actually a charging call against Craig Craig of Wetmore. So the Bulldogs hit it back down three, and Lynn wants another timeout. 2.38 left to work. We're in the first quarter. 11-8. Wetmore leads it. Bulldogs, though, on the march when we come back. Not every company has the time or budget to cover necessary IT needs. Blue Valley Telecommunications and Networks Plus certified staff can help your company achieve better business solutions. Whether you need 24-7 desktop management, IT support and consulting, someone to monitor your servers, or even a place to store your data, we have the solution for you. We can assist your business no matter what size. Visit us at bluevalley.net for more information. Earning and keeping your business is the top priority at Oldie Tractor Repair and Lem. Their professionally trained technicians have a tremendous amount of experience with all types of farm equipment. They service all brands of tractors, combines, and forage equipment, especially John Deere. They work on diesel truck engines, clutches, transmissions, differentials, and brakes. Call Oldie Tractor Repair of Lynn, Kansas. Serving area farmers. 11-8, Bulldogs have trailed by as many as six in this first quarter, but now back within three, highlighted by uh, Chad Gross, two block shots, and then the breakaway dunk, followed by a steal, and 
one or two free throws, and they have the basketball back again down by just three. Well, they got the momentum, and they got the basketball back, and that you know a dunk like that will will uh, bring some momentum to your team. Bulldogs will look at pressure. It appears all night long they look at it now. They put four across the lane and give it into Gross. Right back it comes to Chase McGatlin. McGatlin hit a three earlier from that right wing. He brings it across. Wetmore's in a man-to-man. Here's Gross left wing to cook down the block. It's knocked out of there by Morris. It'll stay with Lynn on the sideline. So Gross trying to feed the post of Grant Cook, and it was tipped away by Morris. Physical game. Yeah, it is. There's only been three fouls total called in this first quarter. Two against the Wetmore Cardinals. Here's a drive by McGatlin. Gets it to the paint. Pretty good look. Couldn't get it down. Oh, a nice move by McGatlin. Here's Hol- finish. Holsler in transition. A crossover move. Now throws it to the corner right for Morris. Back to Holsler out deep. The Bulldogs in a 2-3 zone this time. They have in the middle Dylan Cooper, Gross, and Cook. Then on the uh, baseline and out top of the 2-3 is Fulton Smith and Chase McGatlin. Correction, Evan Bott out there on the top of the 2-3 zone. Here's Trey Craig with it. Left on the wing deep. Wetmore against the 1-3-1 had some real good success. Against the 2-3, they had the one bucket for Henry. And since that time, they've done a lot of this around the perimeter mm-hmm. passing. Skip pass right wing now to Newt Smith had just come in. He is double teamed immediately. Now Cook backs off to guard the post as it's passed back outside to Craig. A minute 32 to go first quarter, 11-8. Wetmore the three-point lead. Holsworth gets it outside around to Craig. Looks baseline left. Here's Holsler, and he's got Chad Gross in the area. Baseline, short jumper, about 15 feet away, put up and missed by the Whitmore Cardinals. And that was Andy Henry, who's been dynamite inside the lane. It's nine early points, but misses here. Good rebound by Grant Cook that time for the Bulldogs. Here's Gross out of the point. Holes now goes left to bot. He has Newt Smith on him, right side wing. Grant Cook beyond the arc. Holes there, looks inside. Cooper cuts through. McGatlin. Two-pointer. This one just short. Rebound comes off to the Cardinals. Outlet pass, Holsler, trying to go in transition. Under a minute to go, first quarter. Jump pass outside. Newt Smith, three-point attempt on its way down. Just off the bench, and the 5-6 freshman buries the three. And now we've got a violation against the Bulldog freshman, Dylan Cooper, who stepped across the line trying to inbound. Yeah, he did. Got Just got in a big hurry. Newt Smith, I'm going to go to him for a minute for Wedmore. I watched him on Saturday. A fun kid to watch. He was freshman. having fun in pregame, I noticed, too. He was having a lot of fun in pregame. 14-8 ball game here. The Bulldogs trail now again by six. Near steal by Grant Cook. Knocks it out of bounds. This does not look like a kid that just has a basketball uniform on, but agreed. he's a pretty good player. Drilled it from about a stride behind the top of the key arc. That's not. 14-8. Again, Lynn trailing on defense. What more inbounds out near the top? It comes to Dalton Beckman. Beckman almost walked with the basketball. He's able to hang on to it. Andy Henry has it now out top to Beckman. Hands it off to Holschler, who will run the point point at the top. It goes right on the wing now to Beckman again. Dalton Beckman with Chase McGatlin on him to the corner. Holschler, ball fakes, drives, gets underneath the basket, bounce pass outside, around to Beckman for three, is short. Long rebound, though, tipped by Holschler, picked up by Dylan Cooper. Bulldogs have it back, down by a 14-8 margin. There's just under 10 seconds to go in this opening period. Cooper in the block, turn, spin. Takes the shot up in the lane and drops it in. The freshman with a point on the board as the buzzer sounds, and the Bulldogs will trail by four as we head to quarter two. Wetmore, 14, Lynn 10 when we come back. Pizza, anyone? How about chicken bacon ranch pizza, bacon cheeseburger, or Canadian bacon pizza, along with your usual favorites? Okay, you might be wondering where can you get all those great pizzas? At Moe's Stop and Shop in Lynn. And don't forget, all toppings are no extra charge. Their Hunt Brothers Pizza is fantastic. Moe's is more than just a convenience store. Just ask your family. They'll be happy with supper from Moe's. It's the hot spot for food and more. Moe's Stop and Shop in Lynn also has Sunday beer sales. We know you're busy and we have just the product for you. It's secure, it's convenient, it's easy. No time to make a deposit at the bank? Click it with UBT's new mobile deposit service. Simply sign, click, and submit your check image for deposit. Speak with your local branch representative on qualification details on mobile deposit. United Bank and Trust. You bank, we deliver. Member FDIC. Mobile remote deposits functional on iPhone and Android apps only. Data rates may apply. Check with your mobile phone carrier for details. Well, the Bulldogs trailed by as many as six three different times in that opening quarter flip, but here they are down by just four 
the big bucket by Dylan Cooper to close the quarter down. Yeah, that was huge from Cooper. Wedmore got off to a fast start, and, and Andy Henry, I don't know what he ended up with in that first eight or nine, eight, points. nine points is the 14 for Wedmore. So big quarter for him, but Lynn able to get a little momentum back, starting with the dunk, and then uh, the big shot right at, by Cooper right at the uh, quarter break. Lynn will have the basketball as well to start the period. Here's Cooper inside the lane. Six one freshman gets it off on the baseline with a Gatlin. Good look, won't go. Cooper battling for the loose ball, ties it up. The arrow goes to Wetmore, but they had a really good look from McGatlin on the right baseline. I remember seeing Dylan Cooper in the game a lot the last or uh, on Saturday when we had Lynn. He done a good job with the minutes he's been off the bench so far. Angles himself really well out there. Nearly thrown away by Wetmore in the corner. Lane Hodge goes up and gets it out of the poke away, and it's going to be taken down court. Gross hangs in the air. The fingertip roll, no good. A lot of contact. No foul called either way. Postler back the other direction. He'll take a runner in transition. It rims off. Morris the rebound. Shot blocked by Gross, but a foul before that shot was taken up by Austin Morris of the Wetmore Cardinals. Chad Gross got a breakaway with a defender who was kind of in between trying to draw charge and going up and fouling him. They both collided in midair, and nothing was called. But it missed shot on the lay-in, and now the other direction, Morris at the free throw stretch. Pretty consistent with the no call. Yeah, true. You know, they're letting them letting them go at it, but there was a lot of contact on that lane from Gross. Two team fouls on each now after that last whistle. Morris missed the first, misses the second. Chad Gross brings down the board. Bulldogs on the floor. Cooper along with Smith, Bott, Gross, and McGatlin. Gross has it left wing to Cooper in the paint. Mid lane jumper on its way off. Blast and good. Nice. He has two buckets here in the first half. Nice move by Cooper. 14 12. They fed him at the high post. And right there in the mid lane, he was able to turn with the defender rising up, but he banked it in off the glass for his second field goal. It's 14 12. Holstler baseline right. Gross out in the area. Now back outside it. Swung around to Beckman. Beckman goes corner left to Holstler. Looks inside, ball fakes it. Out to Beckman, around right. Hodge fakes on the three. Now to Beckman again. Bulldogs in a 2-3 zone, and now Evan Bott has the steal, but it's taken right back away by Beckman. Now he's double teamed, and we've got a reach and foul against the Bulldogs. Yeah, that's a little frustration there on Evan Bott. He just got caught when he got that ball, then got caught as he was trying to pass it, and then a little frustration as he tries to get it back. Great steal yeah. off the uh, bottom of the 2-3, but then as he took off, he was taken back away, and you're right. I think he's frustrated. He took his first foul, team's third. 6.32 remains here in the first half. Bulldogs down 14-12. Holsler fakes on a three, bounce side to Hodge. Now around right, Beckman to Hodge. Left side lane, Holsler again. Skip pass to Beckman. Now at the point, around left. Holsler wants the three this time. Had a chance to set. Couldn't get it down. Rebound comes off to Colton Smith. Bulldogs a chance to tie on this trip or a long ball to take their first lead. Good job by Smith. Now he decided not to go into transition. Did a good job. Pass inside the lane. And Bach was passing it. Gross was actually clearing it, but he saw it the last second. He was able to get up and get his hands to it and get the jump ball call, and the Bulldogs keep it on the baseline. It will be McGatlin to inbound. What more making a substitution? Newt Smith is back in the game. McGatlin looking in. Side, lobs it for Gross, back to the bucket, kick out for Bott to the corner of McGatlin. He'll dribble penetrate. Now bounce pass in low, looking for Gross, and it's going to be tied up. McGatlin able to get in there with Newt Smith. It will go back to the other direction to Wetmore with a Cardinal 14-12 lead over your Lynn Bulldog. And just some miscues on the passing by Lynn, just some, maybe maybe ones that you should not be making. Left side is Hodge. The baseline further left, he goes to Holsler. Back to Hodge outside. Now it skipped across right to Smith. Newt Smith, who hit a three at the top of the key earlier from well beyond the arc. He's setting up there now for it. But kick it left to Hodge. He'll try the three. Strong. Rebound weak side to Gross. Chad Gross, who has five points, two blocks. I would guess a handful of rebounds already. Now it's top with possession. Oh, and one dunk as well for Chad Gross. Here's a. Bounce pass inside to Gross, back outside. McGatlin for his second three, banks it in. Left side wing, and Chase McGatlin uses the glass for his second three of the ball game, and it's a 15-14 Bulldog lead. Pass down the lane, Andy Henry. 
nearly from half court, Holstler with a bounce back. That was amazing. And on the money to Andy Henry, who now has 11. Here's Gross in transition. Cooper, ball fake, puts it off glass. No, Chad Gross, the offensive board. Six back try from the baseline. No, Trey Craig brings it down now for Wetmore. Craig walks it across the midcourt line. Here's Holstler, left wing. Ball fakes, now directs traffic. 4.42 left. Now Holstler drives and he's fouled. And he beat the Bulldogs into relaxing. He was directing traffic, pointing out toward the top of the key, and the Bulldogs kind of looked with yeah, him. Yeah, they did. And he drove by it. In second bucket, he'll have a chance at a three-point play here. What more thus far is one of three at the strike. Those three throw here misses, so. He's not convert the old-fashioned three. I'm going to see that very often. No, I agree. Good shooter. Nearing the midway point, second quarter. The Gatlin goes right on the wing deep. For Colton Smith, man to man by Wedmore. Here's Gross in the lane. We think Gross and Cooper have a good chance to really post up inside against the man to man. Now they go in low. It's McGatlin inside, and it's stripped away for a moment. Now loose on the ground, battling for it. Still loose. Smith picks it up, and the Bulldogs keep possession. Chad Gross at the free throw line. Outside right for Smith. 407 left, second period. Lynn trailing 18 15 with the ball. Great look inside, and foul down low is Evan Bott. A pass from Chase McGatlin, and that is a terrific feed inside. It'll be two free throws coming now for Evan Bott. That was a great look inside to Evan Bott. Evan Bott went up strong and got a little contact from behind. First free throw from Bott is off the mark just to the right. Rimmed off, and they'll have another one coming. Bulldogs trailing by three here at the line. 4.02 left first half. Second free throw is strong. Rebound pulled down by Craig of Wetmore. Holsler in transition. Stops on the wing left. Holds there. Kicks it out top to Hodge. Around right to Smith. Lob down low. Tipped out by Cooper, but he went over yeah. and he injured to do so. And Cooper is going to pick up the foul. It'll be on the floor and Wetmore's basketball out of bounds. Neither team really in danger of getting to the bonus. That is the fifth team foul now against the Bulldogs, and unfortunately for Dylan Cooper, freshman picks up his third personal. So he'll come out. Wetmore will inbound from the baseline. The lob to Henry through his hands, picked up by Bott. Up the floor comes to McGavlin, and they call this an offensive charge. Oh, wow. Dalton Beckman stepped over in front, and I think the only thing that cost McGavlin is he extended his left arm a little yeah. bit, and that's what the official called. And that's usually what will happen when the arm's extended. The technique is moving a yeah. lot right there. 18-15, 3.40 left to work here in this first half. Smith lobs it low for Henry against Cook. Takes it up and swatted away. Ooh. Grant Cook looks with a perplexed look to the sideline, wondering why that was called, and it looked like he got an awful lot of basketball. Well, he had to have <laughs> as far as that basketball went, but that official quick on that call. Or Andy Henry will be at the stride. He has 11 first half points and rims off the first free throw here. Wedmore's gotten to the stride. They did just. Well, we have one out of five this, this far in the game, and neither team shooting lights out from the line. Henry does make this one. He has 12 points, and the Bulldogs fall behind by four, 19 15. Long down court pass looking for Cook. Was it tipped by Wetmore? No. Going to go back the other direction. Cook was open for a moment, but by the time Evan Bott decided to make that baseball pass, Trey Craig was back in the area. Yeah, he just waited a what second too long. 19-15. Three and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Wetmore with it around right to Smith. Skipped back to the baseline. Left Beckman three ball up short. Rebound comes off to Colton Smith of the Bulldog. To Chad Gross and now handed away to Chase McGatlin to bring it down the floor. And the man by Wetmore really pressuring out top is going to be Beckman. And this time they get Beckman for the bump instead of the charge against McGavlin. Well, they're not making that call, so he's going to do that until they do call it. I mean, I don't blame him a bit. Absolutely. It is the fourth team foul now against Wetmore. Seven have been whistling against the Bulldogs. The Cardinals are in the bonus. Hearing the three-minute mark first half. Here's McGavlin right baseline. Backs it out. Top of the kid comes to Smith. Looks left, now back right side of McGatlin. He did two threes in the game. Now a pull-up jumper right elbow, rims off. Rebound to Henry. Outlet pass and three on two numbers. Osler to the lane. Pass across paint to the bottom block and through the hands of Beckman. And it'll go back to the Bulldog. 